Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. At the 12 o'clock location, we have Raz starting as the brown Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Hawk starting as the orange Zerg. And this is again part of NA Team Battles. Same teams as I previously mentioned. It is 2-1. Machine drop last game. Jayun picked up a game, and I'm trying to remember. Did Raz win game one? I think Raz might have won game one. So we'll see. Anyway. I am, again, going to try to keep hiding this thing here and there because it's just huge. So many spectators. Uh, check out both these guys, Raz, VW, on Twitch TV, and, of course, uh, Hawk. Hawk streams. Where does, I think Hawk just might be Hawk on Twitch. You should have had that in the background. I'll have it in the description either way. These guys are incredible players. Hawk, an amazing Zerg in North America. Check him out. Uh, Rogue's Gallery, he's been an absolute beast. Just a really fun player to watch, in my opinion, as well. Oftentimes we'll throw out the jiving trash talk. Raz has really improved his play, in my opinion, over the last year. I remember entering COVID, he was, I'm not sure at what stage he was at, but he was not at the level he was at currently. He's already got that pylon at front. Looks like he is gonna open gateway first to be a little bit more aggressive on the front. We are seeing an overlord first opener, and we'll go ahead and get rid of that and the probe moving out there. I'll try to keep that queued here and there, and it looks like that probe is making its way towards Hawk Bay, towards Hawk's base, so he is going to end up with that first scout overall. And we'll see if that Zealot can go with with Ascension. Ascension again being kind of a remake of Did he see the Overlord? And so wondering what's going on with the scout here from Raz. Initially he was headed bottom left, but now he's changed scouting paths. And I'm wondering if the Zealot, once it starts building, is gonna go the correct direction or not, or what what's going on with this probe. But anyway, natural expansion's now up. There is a spawning pool being built. First Zealot in production. We'll see if Hawk can mount a decent defense. He's already expending a lot of larva. Looks like his overlord is in fact going to scout there and see it. And so yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but it looks like Raz getting a little bit discombobulated and moving the probe off the wrong path, but maybe he can rejoin with this Zealot and do some additional harassment towards the natural expansion. Usually what the Zealot wants to do is actually skip past the natural expansion go right to the main and do some harassment right there second zealot already on the way but ascension being a large enough map i am also almost curious if the rush distances are not going to play out however there's only a single larva left currently for hawk look, look so second larva being built so he's going to have four zerglings but it's going to be a bit delayed i mean that zealot's already along the way here and there is a probe a probe plus a zealot Pretty good opener. It looks like there is going to be a Nexus to follow. And a third hatchery has already been plopped down by Hawk at the 6 o'clock location. So he's getting the full six Zerglings. First Zealot already wandering towards the main. Now keep in mind with this and the drones. and But there are a couple things to keep in mind. First of all, these Zerglings need to choose, pick their battles. Because if they engage in certain corners, they're not going to get a lot accomplished. Probe already down though. Raz already trying to do full engage here. And he's eating a lot of damage and is not getting a lot accomplished. Maybe a little bit? A little bit of harassment, but otherwise that's not precisely what you want. And this Zealot, where is he going? The Zealot searching for the third hatchery? I almost feel like Raz has not played Ascension all that much. And his Zealot actually getting very little accomplished. This Zealot is finding the third hatchery. He's got that natural expansion building, a cybernetics core, and no forge. Sorry, the forge is at the main, but forge and then cybernetics core with six... This is very brave play, I gotta say, from Raz, and kind of a confusing mixed-up opener, I gotta say. This Zealot needs to keep these Zerglings busy now, because otherwise those six Zerglings might have been able to just do a run towards the main and create a lot of havoc there, although there would have been there would have been need of additional Zerglings towards the main to uh, balance things out. Lair is building. So right now I think this Zealot is mostly playing the role of scout delay the Zergling guy. Uh, he's eating a lot of damage. It looks like he's going to get wiped out. There's already, there's a cannon warping in, but this cannon is, first of all, it's only one cannon, two Zealots blockading the front. Hopefully this will be solid and these zealots can move around to keep this ling tight, but looks like the zerglings are mostly going to stay at home base for Hawk. He's happy to go ahead and wait for speed and play the game from there. Stargate is down and kind of, a, I'm curious if with the cybernetic score it plays a little bit differently as far as the blockade and that might have been the decision making for Raz. Also it might be, I kind of like this play to put this, now thinking about a little bit of the meta and the proclivity towards 973. I'm also wondering if this was to allow the cybernetic score to go down rather than the forge to ensure level one weapons. 
and so it's going to be more of a zealot opener to follow from Raz. Raz moving another probe out, kind of hiding to the corner. Unfortunately for Raz, I don't know that he's going to scout these mutalisks. In time, it looks like a little bit of a delay on the Corsair. He's getting that Citadel of Adun before this Corsair. And really, you... Well, actually, that was built a while ago. Really, you want to make sure that Corsair is out as quickly as possible so you can kind of know where you need to place your cannons and what timing. Spire, he should still have that in plenty of time, though. Probe making its way across is in the natural expansion. I think Raz, at least looking at this... And this is kind of the meta these days, is the Protoss have a, a great deal of difficulty knowing whether they're going up against Muta or that 973 contain. I think Raz currently was mostly building to deal with that 973. It looks like seeing those Zerglings should make a beeline towards the main. The Spire still plenty of time. He actually might be able to get an Overlord uh, before those Muta pop. And he's going to actually wait. He's got to go get that scouting information first. A lot of Zerglings. That's like a full control group hanging out near that main in the interim. So now he knows that there's a Spire there. I think he still has time to go ahead and attack this Overlord and get out. He is going to need to babysit it immediately after because it's going to be close towards... Uh, that scourge but now he knows he needs to plop down some cannons at his main at his natural expansion to continue to pump uh, those corsair so additional corsair being built looks like there's actually just going to be a handful of scourge not really respect so overlord down that doesn't put hawk in the red hawk's actually done a great job of droning up he's actually going after a second overlord here right near when where these scourge are going to pop and that's two corsairs now in the engagement i'm wondering if raz is gonna so he is gonna get that overlord and it looks like he is going to get away, and that puts Hawk in the red. So nice opener, although I don't know that his Corsairs are going to make it out in time. He's going to try to rush back. There is a cannon. Got to respect that threat. Oh, just barely sneaking out. One Scourge lands, weakening one of the Corsairs. That second Corsair going to be able to make it back, and is the cannon going to be up in time? So the cannon's just going to be warping in to allow these Corsairs to get back to their... And it looks like they do get a shot. That was Scourge getting nice scouting information. Realize, and this should be huge indication that it's going to be more of a zealot timing rush which usually is around i think it's usually around like the nine minute mark at this stage of things don't quote me on that but uh level one weapons is finishing you can go out now with the zealots he has if he's going to going for level one weapon or sorry it's usually around the 7 30 mark is the typical one um brain farting and mixing it up with some terran stuff these days brain fog still persists a little bit Ooh, corsair is moving out a little bit still eating that scourge i'm Maybe waiting for yet another Corsair before he moves out because he wants to do kind of that double Corsair uh, Zealot pressure attack to try to clear out some Overlords and maybe get some damage on the big SimCity here at the 6 o'clock. Hawk has kind of ramped back and gone for, it looks like, six hatcheries overall. And stuck in more defensive position. He's getting Carapace. He's also getting Spines for kind of a Hydra Muta position. Basically what that does is that kind of puts Zerg players in a place where they can be flexible but they do have to absorb attacks. Mulisks overhead, trying to chase down those elves. The Corsairs actually fleeing. I'm With four Corsairs, I'm wondering why the four Corsairs actually aren't turning around and diving back into this. But they're coming back to home base. The Corsairs could engage this. Like maybe it's because of all of these Scourge. Huge fleet of Scourge. I'm not sure if that was spotted or not. But at the very least, Hawk, with just five Mutalisks, is pushing back that initial attack. High Templar are now being produced, and I'm almost wondering if there's going to be an instant morph to Archon once these High Templar are spawned. Level 1 weapons is up, but thus far, Raz has been, it looks like a Corsair got separated and picked off. I don't think all the Corsair, something got uh, separated and picked off there to the 9 o'clock, and I think that might have been a Sair. Hawk continuing to macro up here in the interim, and he's going to, he's already, he's just been sitting on, honestly, 43 drones, which is a fantastic economy for quite a while, is continuing to just pump the upgrades. I'm looking to see if he's actually got a second evolution chamber. The Mutalisk kind of poking around the corner, and really with just, what is this? Handful of Scourge and Mutalisk, and not that many Zerglings, he's held back everything Raz has dropped out, and that's going to allow him to continue to mech up, mech up, tech up. It's going to allow him to continue to tech up, and... That and basically Raz is still sitting. Yeah, he's getting that Archon to respect those Mulusks. Right now, Raz trying to peck away at this. I'm almost wondering if he maybe would have opted for considering the composition here and the threat of the counterattack. Oftentimes you'll see Protoss go level one weapons just to have those Corsairs be a little bit more of a threat. And then once you have those six Corsairs out, you don't have to ugh, worry about it as much. Corsairs, again, getting pushed off overhead, and actually with distance, uh, the Archon trying to protect, group up and protect the rest of these Zealots. 
But again, Raz is not establishing additional bases. And Hawk is grabbing a fourth base without too much trouble. Raz moving at least out into mid-map, so getting a degree of map control here. He is upgrading Psystorm as well. He sells level 1 weapons. Level 1 armor should be there in not too long. And, but he's not picking off Overlords. He's not really keeping Hawk's army down, and he really hasn't done any economic harassment, which is basically, if you just leave a Zerg alone to do whatever a Zerg wants, that's usually bad news. He's going to go ahead and move out and try to grab and establish his third. He's dropping uh, some additional gateways. Level 1 armor now coming online. But Hawk, I gotta say, it's an impressive defense. Oh, and he's gonna get some High Templar potentially here. Not quite able to pick some off. It looks like a lot of Scourge were sacrificed in the midst of that to both the Corsair and the Archon. One Mutal is trying to sweep around, wants to get on top of those High Templar to get several kills, forcing kind of a double macro situ or a double micro situation. And it looks like it is going to get taken out by that Corsair. Some Zerglings have managed to sneak underneath and force a cancellation, and Raz's third once again delayed. And you can see it just seems like Raz is just having a lot of trouble with a lot of these engagements and maneuvers, really is just having trouble accomplishing anything here in the mid-game, and everything is going in Hawk's favor. Hawk now up on supply. He's got a fourth base up. Raz has not established his third. The Zealots moving up on top of the Hydralisks at the very least. That They do have level 1 weapons. It looks like this is going to be a pretty successful attack. But the High Templar have been completely boxed out. Only a single Psystorm. The Psystorm hitting most of the Zealots here. I gotta say, this isn't Raz's best effort. He's having uh, a lot of trouble in this match. Looks like this fourth is up not yet saturated, but that is available. And more High Templar getting picked off, which is going to make it even more difficult for Raz to go ahead and establish another base. So... Things looking a little bit dire, I gotta say, for Raz overall. It looks like he is getting a range upgrade, some Dragoons, in case there are Lurkers. As far as a follow-up, there are eight Lurkers in production in the middle of the map here. And he is in threat of being contained, honestly. Hawk checking that third base to go ahead and sweep around and make sure that there's nothing that, that, that can be denied. And here's the other thing on Ascension, because of this kind of little pocketed choke, Lurkers are so strong. I think these Overlords, I don't think this is a drop. I think these are just overlords that were misrallied. And I don't think that was intended to be a threat of a drop either. Uh, I think they were just here to be able to pick off observers and other things. Unfortunately, that's one Corsair getting a little bit too brave. If there are other Corsair, they might have been able to do a quick attack and back out. But the Corsair count has been dwindling. Lurkers look like they're starting to gather around that corner. Hawk. This third has still been denied, but basically what Hawk is staging up to do is, is go for kind of that ma a massive contain at multiple locations. He does have some saturation starting to wind up at that fourth base. And as long as he can keep his unit spread here and maintain this high ground, those lurkers are really going to be able to branch this in. And it's kind of a vice here. Ooh, nice side storm right there, though. But as long as those side storm are expended and there's still troops standing on the high ground, it's going to be very difficult, one, to establish that third, and two, to provide any source of threat on the map. And I'm almost wondering if Hawk's going to, or if Raz's one opportunity to kind of sneak out of this is, I don't know, get a shuttle, get some High Templar, pick off some drones uh, with a large troop grouping after this. Either way, he's literally fighting uphill against a well-positioned Lurkers to try to get the threat that might be able to rapidly take down his third out of the way. And in the meantime, Hawk is just continuing to macro up. He's 20 supply ahead and just has all sorts of tech. Level 2 weapons will be online momentarily. Some okay side storms, but they're really not hitting... They're just hitting a Lurker, or a handful of Hydralisks. Morphing into an Archon to follow up. Those, hydral those Hydralisks getting a little bit brave. And every time they're dying, there's more Lurkers that are establishing themselves on those lines. It looks like Raz finding a corner to kind of sneak out of with this army. And maybe he's thinking about going for a sizable attack, but if he goes for a big end, down, a big end around attack, there's enough of a Sim City that I think Hawk will be able to fight it back, and he might be sacking his main with a counterattack. Lurkers burrowing from above. Some nice positioning there. The High Templar not getting a lot of storms off. Do they have enough to storm? It looks like the storms were expended in some of the exchanges earlier, so Raz now trying to back his army back up towards that third and eating a lot of damage across that high ground. They're just getting pelted from above, and Raz calling GG right there has no opportunity to establish his third, and on top of that, Hawk just has a monstrous army that is boxing everything in. Oof. So we're going to go ahead and back up. Got minions in chat. 
saying I think he's got some units that were blockaded. Potentially, we will check. Esky raiding as I'm about to close off. I'll have to find someone else to raid. Uh, so, we will check if the gateways were, in fact, blockading anything. I don't think so, though. Yeah, the Zealots are able to micro through. I think the Dragoons pop out along the lower corner here. He does have to be careful where he's building units, but, uh, like, end game supply here. Okay, are these guys stuck? Because of these lower gateways? Potentially? Yeah, actually, potentially. Actually, I think if this Zealot moves, that Dragoon can't get out. I'm wondering if we'll see that. Either way, I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, I think if that Zealot... If this Zealot's not in the way, that Dragoon can get out. But, uh... Looks like they're just hanging out in the meantime. <laughs> but it, anyway, didn't matter. Because Raz wasn't going to grab a third. And uh, Hawk is sitting at four bases and an immense amount of supply up. Plus, just has all sorts of tech in the background. And probably could have made his way to Hive without too much trouble. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. Hope you all have a wonderful day.